that they voted in last session a couple of years ago, or earlier in the couple of years ago. Yeah, there was. Yeah, but it. You're talking about the city council. City council, Bowie, mayor, city council. Oh, yeah, but it's hardly what you would call astronomical. It's not astronomical. It's probably more in line with where it should have been for many years. Probably so, yeah. But I imagine. Gee, maybe I could get them to uh, take us out to lunch more often. What do well, you that think? might be a great yeah. idea, particularly after November. Yeah, absolutely. But they get well, actually, no. We've got to do it before November because that's. They want you yeah, 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 support. Want our votes. <laughs> you, well, John, are, are you getting calls for people to. Ask you to endorse them like they used to often no. when you're editor? No. no. Are you? <laughs> oh, yeah. I've had one request on already. Have you? I've well, there are, a, there are a few people uh, that I have already told I would willingly endorse. Sure. You know, I have no constraints anymore. I'm not uh, affiliated with the media other than Bowie News and Views, this right. internationally watched yes. television show. By the way, have you seen the hits we're getting on YouTube? I did. You yes. you told me it was unbelievable. Yep. And I had a. I you had couldn't a, be only our family. No, no. I, <laughs> Cindy Sadi, who used to be a reporter mm -hmm. at the at the Blade News, uh, just popped me an email last week. She had seen our show and had some suggestions. Everybody has suggestions oh, for boy. us. Oh boy! Yeah, you you and Share you remember Danny me. Melvin? Yes. Well, Danny Melvin watched the show and he saw Betsy Burian when she was on it, and he oh, reminded boy. him that he's got to give her a call so oh it reminded we him. are being watched my as I said my niece is very grateful that I used the picture that we used mm -hmm. rather than another one that was available and I diplomatically didn't use so she was pleased with that <laughs> but we well, are we're getting we're getting watched on YouTube that's great mm -hmm. and you know it wouldn't hurt at all but particularly this national <coughs> health plan idea she may be our reporter to confirm some of the things we hear about their health plans. <laughs> you mean the uh, silly stories that we hear about National Health Service. We won't go into that. No, we hear some good stories, too. You can do they some are, good They're stories. very good. Yes, you I'd have rather good, have that than what we have. You have a good story, but I don't agree with it. <laughs> you never, <laughs> you never do. <coughs> well, I don't. I, I, was, I, I agreed with well, you. Well, speaking, if you're getting on to national issues, yes. you know, we better start asking elected officials, perhaps even Mayor Robinson, to produce his birth certificate. Well, you know, I thought about yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, come on, we have you to know. You know, the only reason I want him to produce it is I, I'm still convinced he's over 39. Yes, he is over 39, but was and he born was, in the United States? That's what I want to know. Oh, I see. You want to <coughs> find well, you're almost like, uh, uh, when I say, I hear some people say what we can do to improve on, the, on our program and on our uh, Channel 11, or, Comcast and 77 for Verizon. Uh, the it's reversed. When I, is it 77? Yes. I got to tell you, the I got listen, 11. And listening Verizon. to these 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 idiots on cable television claiming that Barack Obama is not an American citizen. He was born in Kenya. Give me a break. These people are absolute ninnies. Absolute. Ninnies. Uh, it just appalls me that people would resort to that kind of scurrilous well, politics. I agree with you, John, but I want to tell you something. If for some reason or other. Oh, now, by the way, Newsweek magazine. They keep this week's Newsweek magazine produces the full-page birth certificate. Yeah, that's good, because <laughs> they probably were the ones that brought it up once upon a time themselves. No, no, I wouldn't doubt it. it. Lou Dobbs and crowd. And but there's a certain, <coughs> and you know, we might as well go ahead and sit. I'm going to tell you my opinion. Oh, okay. The candidates seem to be not the people I'm going to start making judgments about in the future so what much. What candidates? Any candidate oh, okay. that I have a, a reason to criticize or complain about or brag about, I'm going to find out who his handlers are oh, yeah, that's or her good. handlers are because those are the people that seem to have the greatest influence on that candidate, not the electorate more often. That's a very good point. And I hear it so often, and uh -huh. when I read that recently here, uh, and I have the <coughs> newspaper in my briefcase there, I'm sure you did too, about the campaign with Obama. Yeah. And what he said during the campaign. Oh, yeah. It verified the fact yeah, yeah. that he, to he said in this Washington Post story that he felt like early in the campaign he had 25, 30 percent chance of winning. Yeah. And he had probably one of the most effective group of people oh, that excellent. I have ever heard or seen in the campaign. I also found it amusing that uh, one of the, a, a new book out was the Sarah Palin and the whole thing about Obama being this, uh, you know, friend of terrorists and all that sort of thing. That wasn't, didn't come out of her, her usual uh, incoherency. 
It was orchestrated by the McCain campaign people. She was asked to do that. Oh, I haven't seen oh, that. Now, you know what we've got to do? We're going to have to ask all the city council members, okay. uh, can candidates, and the mayor to give us a list of their staff. All right. And we'll uh, examine that Yeah. And see well, who's behind them. I'm going to save them a sheet of paper <laughs> for that and put it in half. Yeah. And then if they list anyone other than their wife and their family, right. we won't know how much they paid them. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. That's that's a good. I, that folded <laughs> paper's a reminder of what we'll do when we have them in, John. You know, in the old days, as you remember, there used to be all these <laughs> zany characters in Bowie that were political activists who used to okay. take part in all the campaigns, go stealing signs and you oh. know plant rumors and write letters to the editor. And you know that seems to have dropped off a lot. It has. Yeah. And one it was kind of fun, actually. Well, and the one reason I think it has is we had a lot of. Uh, People running for the office then, yeah, that had this time following. Oh yeah, and yeah. I mean many that won yeah. were not just uh -huh. accused of it, yeah. caught in the act of it. And I never will forget one young man um, was climbing a pole, a pole, a telephone pole to take a sign down for a competitor, and somebody got a picture of him. Yeah. He later became an attorney. Not anyone lives in Bowie now. Oh, of course not. No. Uh, nor are there. There are some who live in know. Bowie, though, who did the same thing. <laughs> and, and I've They're a bit long in the tooth these days to do that. Yeah, they couldn't do that. <laughs> and it, but it was the funny thing about signs, and that was the the one thing we we do notice, and it did happen in the last city election. I don't think that'll change about signs. Oh no. But it, when they're putting them up in this size. Oh, yeah, on the yeah. back of fence areas of a private resident, yeah. to me that's a little much. I agree. And that Long Ridge entrance had always had uh, those big, big signs. That yeah. They would disappear one night, go back the next, replaced by something else. Oh man, well, they don't do you a lot of good. I think uh, the former candidate uh, who ran against uh, Fred Robinson in the last election, Michael Lyles, mm -hmm. had a lot of signs. Yep, he didn't get a lot of votes. <laughs> Absolutely. So there's, but that's a Bowie tradition. You it think it'd still be? I don't know. Sand City? Well, there used to be beer party tradition. I sort of liked that one. Remember yeah. the backyard beer blast? You don't see that anymore. That was neat. Yeah. And uh, of course, you have to relate to Jimmy Carter. Uh, he introduced the coffee, oh, the backyard co coffee. Backyard coffee. All over the country. He may not have had 10. No, well, any city, candidate, any city candidate who holds a beer party in their backyard. I'll support them. Uh, the chance yeah. to, if, I, <laughs> if I don't get an invitation, I will not support them. Oh, you and I both, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we're you know we're pensioners now. We we can't absolutely. afford to go out and buy it. <laughs> you know, John, I tell you, I think we're going to have a lot of fun with the city election. Oh, I think so. We'll make it fun. There's going to be, and I hope there's some com competition in every race. Well, I hope there's some sane competition. Yeah, Oftentimes we get, you know, fringe candidates oh, who are yeah. I realize that who, and, uh, a bit too far out in orbit to really and take it, seriously. And yeah, that's the point. Mm -hmm. And it, that they are serious candidates. Yeah. And uh, and you know, I've been to a lot of these things, and uh, and I'm talking about people asking questions. You know. Right. And. Uh, the state senators should be asked questions that apply to the state yes. delegate and so forth. But city council people, when you ask them, how do you believe in the FedEx issue and UPS issue about the uh, FedEx is going to be there or on the railroad a railway act that they form their union organization? Well, I'm gonna have to look that one up. You lost me, but that's well, the reason <laughs> I mentioned it was in the paper today. I know FedEx and, Field, <laughs> and you don't ask a question. Yeah. Uh, oh. Well, I guess we better wrap well, up, and it's a good thing I didn't get well, into that We have to be issue. careful because if we wrap up uh, incoherently like I did last week, it ends up on YouTube as a blooper. Oh, is it on there? Yeah, yes, it is. Well, so with that, it was uh, good chatting. I'd like to urge people out there to start paying attention to who's running for city council. It, it really is important, and maybe a candidate or two may pop up. But until next week, uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you again. Thank you. Oh, Thanks,